Hello everyone, this is Alberto Chavez and uh, we're here to probably um, finish this tutorial, maybe this one, maybe the next one, we will see. This is most of all to um, to give details to what we've been doing for some time now. Oops, sorry. Um, and nothing else. I mean, uh, some of the details that are still missing are very few. So I guess we could finish it either, as I said, this one or the next tutorial. But first, and as always, let me call my um, key monitor and uh, let me move this to the second layer. How did I do it is uh, M and the number 2 and you can move uh, between layers. So, okay, m lots of things to tweak, of course. So, uh, n nothing exactly uh, like easy. So I will start with this part right now all what I did is just select a vertice and then click the L key to select um, the whole vertices that uh, conform this this mesh so let me do SX just like this and um, same with the hand we'll place it a little bit more in the middle and S Y like about there maybe and um, something I really feel that I need to uh, modify is this part and, but also uh, along with that the rest of it because I need to make this oh um, uh, not that wide so here let me check on clipping because otherwise it will um, ah something else here right here and right here just um, I guess it's everything as X and maybe just about there and push it just right there. Yeah, maybe there. This one here and this one right here, just move it along the X axis. Maybe just like that. So, you know, the, the, the body uh, starts to be a little bit more, with more proportions. Mm. Okay. Now, some something that we have not done yet, um, it's, as you can see, this is all very angular. Uh, it's, like, very sharp. And uh, let me just this part, the wheel here. Oops. Yeah. Push it in just like that. Um, I was saying something we have not done is that this looks very angular. So, uh, one thing that we must do is um, give it a little bit um, the edges need to be uh, they need to be a, a little bit more uh, smooth so we will go ahead and apply another modifier which is here the subdivision surface we can do it from here I mean this um, the range and then here subdivision surface or we can just press control uh, the control key and any any number that you want most of the times 
um, we play with two so control two and um, as you can see here uh, the the modifier has been applied of course <laughs> no need to say that this looks scary <laughs> so but don't worry about it um, there are a couple ways of improve this but first of all let me uh, return I just deactivate the look of it so <laughs> you don't get so scared about what you just what you just saw okay so as you can see even the wheels um, receive that um, that smooth part um, as you can see the mask on the on the face of the face it's also affected the whole mesh gets affected by the modifier so as I said there are a couple of ways that we can um, prevent these things to happen and one of them is we'll select the edges of this just like this here right here this one here let's say just this edges right here just to, to to show it and let me call this side panel with the N key and you need to here and the very first um, options that says transform you will see something that says mean crease and mean bevel weight um, this part here just the mean crease is the one that you need to increase maybe to about 0.7 so when I go to the object mode and select here select here so you can see the side this part here it's uh, a little bit different what happens when I as you can see the things are very different this is one of the ways the other way and now that we have finished with uh, the modeling part it's with um, more edge loops so control R and as you can see I can do this or either to the other side just like that so of course I need to place this uh, edge loops in every single side that I need to affect just like the outer one here and of course I need to do it this way here this way here just like that and as you can see it starts to uh, to improve right you see here now the bottom part of the chest and now as you can see it's not that um, scary as it was just some seconds ago okay the same here remember not to go all the way to uh, to match these other vertices uh, below because if you do um, then the purpose of the subdivision surface will be lost right because the purpose as I said it was just to smooth the faces out just a little bit so as you can see it gets better so don't worry don't worry it's not there's nothing to be afraid of um, if you just did what I did and you were like oh my god I screwed up no you didn't don't worry <laughs> nothing as I said to be afraid of so 
what you need to do. Oh, what you need to do um, is to uh, place as many edge loops as you consider in order for the the edges of the model to be smooth, but um, you know at the same time they give the the impression the look of um, the same power as as a a metal robot. So don't worry. As I said, the beginning. Uh, the first time I did this, I I must confess it was something that when that happened, it was like, oh my goodness. Okay, okay. I will quit Blender just like right away. But no, 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 no. Please don't remember that this is just um, one more thing to learn. And as you can see, it's it's you know quite cool to to learn these things. Um, and now that I think about it, uh, we have not. Uh, work with the crease, the new crease here. So we should do this with this um, part here, which I always forget the name. I guess it's the radiator. Maybe I select the whole thing and give it a 0.75. As you can see, it changes immediately. Um, and what's what is the advantage of do it with um, this mean crease it's that you do not need to add more geometry more more vertices because that's what you do when you add edge loops um, you just add more and more and more vertices so with the mean crease you just don't have to do it at all as you saw come on there you go so we said 0.75 just like that and now the helmet part just the same thing whoops 0.75 and um, let's see as you can see this uh, this top part it's maybe a little bit more uh, this part here has a, a curvature that I maybe didn't no actually I will pull these two vertices here and these two ones just like that. And besides, I will add another edge loop, which is the one that will give the real curvature, as you can see here. So, this side will uh, show you better uh, the way we need to do it. Okay? So. <laughs> What about now, huh? It's all different. Um, oh, yeah. This part. Maybe I will go ahead and select this thing. Oops. <laughs> Not the whole thing, man. Come on. Yeah, just that bottom part. And 0.75. Mm, maybe. Um, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Maybe. Uh, 0.65 will do better because it, it's um, not that uh, angular again but still uh, our robot seems like like that like a robot and not like uh, pure skin so a couple things we have we me, have forgotten it's for example this part here and it's pretty easy to do. All that I need to do is select this vertices here and the ones at the top, just like that, and extrude them inwards. So what's the problem when I when I extrude this? As you can see, it uh, this doesn't look the way it does here because here it has a very sharp angle and here it has a little curvature so here is where the edge loops come in hand 
you want me to tell you the truth before the mean crease was added on some some uh, previous versions um, this was the way to um, to create this uh, this sharp and at the same time a little smooth angles so as you can s as, as you can imagine it was, it was you might start with a very uh, low poly um, model but all of a sudden it was a mess so when the mean crease was added I guess every single blender modeler was I don't know I I have here uh, <laughs> statues of the developers and I light a candle every single night for them to say thank you Blender developers for the Mean Trees edition. It was awesome. <laughs> Trust me, <laughs> that's what I do. Now, this little parts here, it's um, something else that we are indeed using. So let me select this part, maybe the edge, the edge, select. But no, not the whole. Just, oops, just this um, the front part here. Just like this. Oh, I need another edge loop here. Just like about here, maybe. Now, here, here. Sorry, I didn't see. when I need it. So I did it a little bit later. Um, something else you see. You will notice here that uh, there's some kind of extrusion here. So let me do something like this. And you know what? I think instead of the edge selection I will do something like this. Right. Okay. There you go. And this last one, which is behind. My goodness! It's a mess here. Come on, baby, select it. <laughs> it's it's not working with me. It's not cooperating, as you can see. Um. Oh, I see now. It's better if I do a face selection here. And sorry, sometimes you know we lost ourselves in in the most stupid ways. And hey, it's me, so it's obvious. The knife tool, just a K key, and now we will go ahead and create some faces here. Maybe just like this and just like that. We hit enter and uh, deselect and now select the faces there and extrude them just like that. Remember that um, we need to make this 65. Mm, actually this 185 so when we go out we are still able to see them but but I know I know don't worry I know you need to select this guys here no not this one ah my goodness you see sometimes these things happen to everyone <laughs> Okay, now one seven five, and let's see. Maybe just a little bit better, but not that much. So I know. Instead of giving this any any, um, ah, my 
goodness, what's wrong here, man? Any of the main trees. I will give it a zero. Maybe the best is to uh, let's see how it does it with some edge loops instead of the crease. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, it's maybe a little bit better. So let's leave it right there. And now this part here. Better with edge loops. Remember that if you use the knife tool, um, you might have some problems uh, with when when you um, work with additional faces like I did here. You might face um, more trouble. Um, for instance, this edge loop I added there uh, will just uh, come from the faces that are not affected by the knife by the knife until exactly this face or this well yeah this face which is the the last one before the knife tool started to make its move. So keep that in mind, okay? Please. Um, now. This part, yeah, this part here. This two, three faces here. I need to uh, maybe, no, just this edge here. See here that uh, I'm taking decisions at the last moment, which is, uh, uh, trust me, this is something that you will be doing very, very and I will repeat it one more time very often uh, when you work on modeling or uh, game developing or you name it um, you need to change your mind from time to time hey it's part of the wisdom you know <laughs> yeah that I know that that was a very poor excuse but um, <laughs> that's what people say hey if you are able to change your mind that it's a proof that you are a wis uh, a wise man. So I always wanted to believe in that, you know. Let's say that that's exactly what um, what I want to believe right now. Okay. Um, okay. Now this here. Okay. Just. Um, no. 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 Maybe. The thing here is that it's just this part here, the one that I need to change. Up. My God! You see, sometimes um, things are not willing to work with you, <laughs> and you need to convince them to work with you, no matter what. Right now, this part here, it's the one that I need to push just a little bit, just like this. I actually scale it on the x-axis and now push it inwards just like that. So it looks a little bit better. All right. You can say that we're in the way, so don't worry about it. Um, we're still missing these parts that's um, back part. Actually, I don't know if they're in the back because um, in the model I did, I don't know, maybe a year ago, the this part, which is uh, the part where the smoke comes out, uh, was right here. So now it apparently are in the back. So um, I will place it right here on the back and if it's not in the back, um, well, it, I will accept anybody that um, make a correction out of there. Okay. So, oh, uncheck clipping, please. <laughs> um, it's about 
maybe there, huh? Okay. And scale it. Um, wait. Set axis. Just like this, maybe. I don't know. I think. Yeah, maybe there. Edge loop, of course. Down and edge loop up. Can we do it with the cr uh, mean crease? Yes, of course. Of course we can. So no need to worry about it. All right. I think um, we have made uh, big, big, big improvements here. So just let me. Whoa. Let me see. There's no crease there. So 185. Just like that. Just went, uh, so we can see this uh, very strong uh, bibble part that we have there. Okay, deselect this and now the back part that also needs some mean crease, some a little bit stronger mean crease. Uh, here, here, right here, we might need some edge look just like this right and uh, I think we can call it done for today just I don't know I don't know if it's me but I see the, the head maybe a little bit bigger than it should be so let me just make it a little smaller oops click it Please <laughs> be careful. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. What is not joining? I don't get it. Should join. Oh, it's not that important. We can take this now. Oh wait. The eyes. The eyes. Otherwise, they will stay outside the head. We don't want it, right? Oh, and now the... I guess you just found it, right? The crease for the eyes. Uh, 185, because the eyes are actually very angular. Right? Maybe move it up just so I can see it better. Uh, and I will scale them because they did not scale when I scaled the rest of the head. So um, I think we can we can leave it right there right now. And the next week we will um, apply this um, this subdivision surface and also the mirror modifiers so we can work in a single mesh right now as you can see all what is real it's just the right part this one here because this one is just a mirror of the the whole mesh so we need of course to um, make it a little bit a little bit no a single mesh Okay, so we will leave it just the way we have it right now, and I will leave it um, rendering, and you will see the render posted on the blog. Thank you very much for following this tutorials. And this is the number eighth, if I'm not wrong, of this series of probably nine, and. Thank you very much also for subscribing to my YouTube channel. It's A Guatemala Chavez. Um, also, to because or <laughs> thank you for subscribing to my blog, which is Diseño Libre. That's A Guatemala two two with a number. Dot blogspot dot com. Um, hope you are enjoying this tutorials and also I hope them to be of some use for you and if you need something special just leave it on the 
blog comments or send me an email or on the YouTube channel. See you again next week. Until then, may free and open software have a long, long, long life.